everyone welcome to my channel and thank you so much for stopping by if you are new here then please take a moment to subscribe to my channel it will mean a lot to me so in today's video i'm going to share with you this beautiful diwali makeup look with copper eyes and bright pink lips i really loved the way it turned out and i think you can wear this look in any party or any weddings after all there is no written rule about makeup right yeah so without further ado let's get started first i'm going to apply this wet and wild photo focus primer this really does mattify your skin by the way i already moisturized my face half an hour ago so i'm not applying any moisturizer but we, but you should apply a moisturizer at least half an hour before applying a primer i'm quickly moisturizing my lips with my old and trusted borolin now i'm going to use this wet and wild retractable eyebrow pencil in the shade medium brown and i'm going to just fill in the gaps and sparse areas of my brows i wanted my brows to look really really natural now with the spoolie i'm just combing it out so that the product is well distributed now i'm going to use this wet and wild photo focus concealer in the shade light medium beige and i'm going to clean the borders of my brows with it and i'm using a lip brush from puna store i'm just blending the concealer with my finger now for color correcting i'm using these two color characters orange and yellow characters from LA girl and I'm just applying it under my eyes on my eyelids and wherever I have pigmentation and acne spots if you do not have like acne spots or pigmentation or dark circle like I do then you can totally totally skip this step I'm again blending everything out with my damp beauty sponge and this is my real techniques beauty sponge for my foundation I'm going to use this pack cosmetics HD liquid foundation in the shade 2.0 and I'm going to apply it all over on my face and neck and I'll be blending it out with my damp beauty sponge this is hands down my favorite foundation and one thing i quickly mention that i usually use 2.3 whenever i am not tanned but when i am tanned i like to use 2.0 it's really odd because 2.0 is supposed to be lighter than 2.3 but what i figured out is that 2.0 is actually a tad bit darker than 2.3 so if you want to buy this foundation keep that thing in mind now for highlighting the high planes of my face i'm just using the same wet and wild concealer and i'm applying it under my eyes in a bigger triangular shape i'm also applying it on my eyelids to prime them further for eyeshadow application down the bridge of my nose center of my forehead sides of my mouth and just under where i'm going to place my contour next now again i'm blending everything out with my damp beauty sponge highlighting your face just instantly brightens up everything and gives your face a nice dimension now using this rimmel stay matte pressed powder and with the damp beauty sponge I'm just setting my concealed areas and I'll be setting my entire face using a fluffier powder brush. By the way, I'm in the shade 020 nude beige. Now I'm using this wet and wild contour stick in Fairy's Walnut and I'm just contouring my forehead, hollows of my cheeks, jawline and my nose. And again I'll be blending everything out with a damp beauty sponge. 
I have been enjoying this contour stick lately. Now for setting my contoured areas, I am using this Rimmel Natural Bronzer in Sun Bronze and with an angled brush, I am just setting my contoured areas. This brush is again from Puna Store. If you are a beginner and if you want some affordable brushes, this can be a great option. Now for my eyes, I am using this transition shade from my Wet n Wild Rose in the Air Palette and I am just applying it on my crease I'm sorry above my crease as my transition color I'm just slowly building up the pigmentation because I want a smooth transition I don't want any patchiness or harshness now I'm taking this rust color with my elf blending brush and I'm just applying it on my crease again this is a great 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 brush for applying eyeshadow on your crease again I'm just blending up the pigmentation now with a clean blending brush I'm just blending everything out so that there is no harshness Now I'm taking this beautiful shimmery copper eyeshadow from Wet n Wild Glitter Palette. This is the limited edition palette and I'm just applying it all over on my eyelids. Now I'm taking this dark brown eyeshadow from the same palette and I'm just applying it on my outer V area. I know there are a lot of people who do not want to apply dark and bold shadows. I think this look is appropriate for them. Now I'm taking that same dark brown eyeshadow and I'm just applying it on the outer two third area of my lower lash line. Now I'm taking the, that shimmery copper color that I applied on my eyelids. I'm just applying it on the inner two third area of my lower lash line now i'm taking this jordana easy line eye pencil in black and i'm going to apply it on my water line and i'm also going to tight line with it now the gorgeous smitha deepak raves about this eye pencil and now i can understand why this is a really 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 great eye pencil this is much proof and waterproof and it stays on my eyes all day long now i'm coating my upper and lower lashes with my lash sensational mascara from maybelline Now I'm taking this L'Oreal liquid eyeliner in carbon black and I'm going to create a nice thick wing. It's almost done. Now I'm going to finish my face makeup. For that I'm using this Wet n Wild color icon blush in the shade Mellow Wine and I'm just applying it on the apples of my cheeks. Then I'm just blending it out with my contour now I'm using this makeup revolution pro illuminate highlighter hands down my favorite highlighter and with this elf highlighting brush I'm just applying it on the high points of my face like my cheekbones look how gorgeous it is chin cupid bow down the bridge of my nose and on the center of my forehead 
Now I'm taking this Rimmel Stay Matte Liquid Lipstick in the shade Heartbeat and I'm just applying it on my lips. As my eyes are so subtle so I wanted a bright pop of color for my lips. That is why I chose this lipstick. But if you are not comfortable you can use any nude lipstick. Now I'm setting my face using this e.l.f. makeup setting spray and I'm just slightly bouncing my beauty blender so that there is no excess powder. You can finish this look here but I'm going to go ahead and apply some false eyelashes. These are back eyelashes in number 55. These are very natural looking eyelashes. And here is the final look. I really enjoyed making this video for you. I hope you enjoyed as well. If you have any video requests, then feel free to comment down below. I'll be more than happy to make it for you. And stay tuned because I will come up with several Diwali makeup looks. And if you are not following me on Facebook, Instagram and Twitter, then please do follow me there. All the links will be given in the description bar below. So please check that out. See you in my next video. Till then, bye and take care.